Hello everyone, welcome back on Nestle Manga channel guys. I am Ramkish Singh, Unity Game Developer, YouTuber and Blogger. So friend, in today's tutorial, we are going to talk about keyboard. So in my previous tutorial, I had done one tutorial for the keyboard. People have asked lots of questions, lots of feedback. So this was for the, like if you are using the Meta XR, how you can on the keyboard. So that was a great, but from this video, I got few questions that it is working. Sometimes it does not working. In today's video, I am going to share with you that what thing you can do what are the guidelines you have to follow start the today video and if you're new on the channel make sure subscribe the channel you can also join me to support or also you can become my patreon to support me to grab any sample or to just join my members and check out me on my linkedin profile where i post lots of small videos so that people can just explore much more about the vr stuff so let's start the today video here just watch my video from the vr okay so here we are inside the unity vr template which is made on the unity xr and here you can see i have taken two text input field that is the text mesh pro and legacy so i have done a tutorial for the meta xr where you can open the your keyboard so people were asking that if you want to do in unity xr so how you can do so i will teach you in this video that how you can do so you can, you can see uh, people were uh, just complaining about it just whenever I am clicking on the text mesh pro so after clicking many times so I am getting the keyboard but what happening just if I am clicking on the legacy so every time whenever I am just clicking anything so it is just getting on and off so I will teach you in this video that how you can on in unity XR and in meta xr you have to just uh, on the ovr rig you have to just on the system keyboard so i have the tutorial okay so whatever video you saw in this i have used text mesh pro and legacy text so people had asked in this video that it is not awning subtime your keyboard so it is happening because the text mesh pro until and unless till this time text mesh pro does not work with the system keyboard means it work but it is not that much perfect it will just on the keyboard sometimes sometimes it does not on so at that time if you want to use the system keyboard so you have to use legacy text how you can grab the legacy text so you have you, you have to go in the ui text and here's a legacy you have to use input field if you are going to use input field text mesh pro so it does not work properly with the system keyboard and basically if you are in the meta xr so you have to on on the ovr rig but currently we are using the xr that is the unity xr unity xr is the cross platform too so this video help you to on the keyboard in meta quest devices like meta quest 1 2 3 or pro so what we have to do now we have to understand first thing what we need you have to go on the build setting and make sure you are on the android and then on the player setting here you have to go on the public setting and here is the custom main manifest so you have to just turn on so i have just turned on here and after doing this you will get the plugins android and then android manifest file okay great so whenever you are going in the asset so here you will get the plugin android and manifest so you have to double click and open this and then opening after opening what we have to do we have to just update the so what we have to update the code above the application here you can see i have right uses feature android learn and then we are using the name and here we are using oculus software dot overlay keyboard and after this android required true so you have to write this line of code this is because we are using the unity xr and one more line you have to write that is here you can like write this line so this line is by default you have to not do that much thing but you have to add this line metadata android com oculus dot vr dot focus vr basically it is giving the permission to on your keyboard so these are the two lines you have to use in your code so make sure you are able to write this code properly you can use many text input field where whenever you will click here so it will turn on and whatever you write it will go here and whenever you will add another input field though another you will click and then in then your keyboard will come and then you will write so it will go on that particular input field so thanks for watching my good day see you if you want to ask anything so just let me know in the comment box bye bye take care see you in next video